it's Aubrey here and today I'm going to show you how you can create your very own reverse vocal effects in Logic Pro. So I typically use these reverse vocal effects for EDM music but also pop. It creates that transition effect between a verse and a chorus and just kind of adds a bit of spice. So without further ado, I have my track here. I've been sent my lead vocal from the singer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to the vocal. And I'm just going to listen for any kind of long words that I think will sound quite good as a reverse vocal. So let's take a listen. I keep falling faster, but I'm tired of the chase. Okay, so straight away I could hear that this word here, faster, is kind of like a long word. You can see it there. The, the. So that sounds quite good. So I'm going to select that one. Uh, I've already chopped it up. Now I'm not using the faster, the F. Faster. Just the aster because otherwise it's, it's just smoother this way. So I want to keep the original so I'm just gonna um, copy and paste that there and mute that. So this is what we've got. The. Okay so first thing I'm gonna do um, is I'm just gonna add a crossfade edit at the beginning and the end to make sure there is no clicks. Duh. So it's just a bit smoother with a, a crossfade edit. So what I'm going to do is I've got my vocal chain here, but I'm going to make sure it is loaded on with reverb because this is what creates that reverse vocal effect. It's what gives it, it, you know, its edge. So I'm going to add some Valhalla delay, um, which makes it sound massive. Let's see. Duh. Yeah, it has a really long tail, so... Duh. Fab. And I'm also going to add some Valhalla vintage verb. Duh. Which makes it even bigger. And I'm just going to tuck that in front of the EQ. Duh. Okay. And what I need to do now is basically bounce this with those effects on because you know I need to be able to see uh, that reverb tail so I can edit it and reverse it so let's do that now what you want to do is make sure that where it says bypass effect plugins that is off because we want the effect plugins bounced okay and that's going to bounce Okay, so now that's bounced, I should be able to see the reverb tail as well. So let's have a listen just to verify that. Duh. Okay, so the reverb's going quite long along there, and that's exactly what we want. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a chop here because this is the start of our reverse vocal. Just crossfade it again. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to reverse it. So you press Control, Shift and R. And there you go. It is now reversed the sample. Let's take a listen. This should sound pretty cool now. Um, okay, here we go. Great. The only thing I don't want is this bit now at the end where the actual original vocal sits. Uh, that uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, 
I don't want that. So I'm roughly going to chop it. This Sometimes this is trial and error, you know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I've chopped that off. And again, another little crossfade edit. Not too much because we don't want it to fade. And let's take a listen to that. Great. Um, what I'm going to do now, luckily, this is already on an AUX channel, which has my uh, Universal Audio EMT 140 reverb. So you can already hear the reverb at the end of this, like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add even more reverb. Again, the Valhalla Vintage Verb is a good option for me. Don't need as much this time, though. There you go. And it just kind of then tips over. It doesn't stop suddenly and sound unnatural. And I'm going to add uh, some of Logic's stereo delay. I'm going to take uh, the output mix it's down to about 12% on the left of the right. And let's listen. Fab. And now it's ready to use. So. I'm going to place it somewhere in my track. So as I said, it is used for usually transition between sections. So there's some anticipation. So I'm going to place it here, coming out of the intro into the first verse. Um, what I'm going to do before I do anything is I'm just going to apply a bit of compression. And this is mostly just to demonstrate uh, how loud it is in the mix, because there's a lot going on at the minute. So let's apply uh, this some full compression. All right, let's take a listen. And there you go. Um, one thing that I will do now, which is the final thing, which is basically to EQ it because, you know, there is a ton, ton of reverb on this and it will get muddy in this lower end. So it's just, we'll be able to see. So I'm going quite high up here. I'm, you know, I'm cutting, uh, you know, 500 off. Uh, you could go down here to 200, or you could even do 80. But I just, you know, there's a lot of bass in this track. It doesn't need all of this muddiness. And that is how you create your own reverse vocal. Hope you find it useful. Subscribe for more videos which are coming soon.